Hello everyone, welcome to 3 Netri Learning Lab. In this video, we will be talking about Touchpad, which is a book from Orange Publication and it is the book of grade 3rd. So we will be having a series of uh, books and we will be going to the different classes also. So let's move ahead. We expect your support. So hopefully you are going to support us. So first of all, this chapter, the first chapter is the normal, which is our basic hardware and software. So here we are able to see the normal matching is attached here with. We can simply see which is already we know, like this is what? This is a monitor. This is a monitor, which is similar to television. We are having television in our home. The next image is keyboard, which is usually used to type something. Next is our mouse. Next is our mouse, which is used to make drawing, to do the click and move around in our screen. And the last one that is our D, it is our CPU, which is the brain of our computer and CPU stands for central processing unit. Next, a computer works on the IPO that is input, process and output. Input, process and output, three steps are there in the computer system because first of all, we will be giving some input. Based on that, that input, it will be going to process and after it, we will be having our final result, which is known as output. In our calculation also, we basically see, we usually give some numbers that we can consider as input. After it, we'll be going to process it. And after processing, we will be having a certain result, which is our output. We can also see these many examples over here. Like we can also take one example, like the example of washing machine. Suppose we are taking a washing machine in which we are putting some clothes, water, detergent, which is called as input. After some time, it will be going to start spinning, washing, anything, which will be considered as process or processing. After it, we will be getting the clean cloth and it will be our output. The second example we can also say is the freezing of ice, right? Like we can take a tray, we can pour some water in it, which will be considered as input and it will be going to freeze and it will be in the processing stage. After it, we will be getting the output, which is ice cubes. Next is computer hardware. The parts of computer that we can see and touch are called hardware. All input, processing, output and storage devices forms the hardware component. In normal language, we can say any part of the computer that we can see and touch are called hardware. And basically, hardware components are divided into four groups that are input device, processing device, output device and storage device. Let us see one by one what are they. Input device. These devices are used to enter data into the computer just as we give some instructions like we give instruction with the help of mouse with the help of keyboard with the help of mouse we can say we can do the clicking we can open any file and with the help of keyboard we usually type some alphabets we usually type some numbers and many more things so we can say that input input device are our keyboard and mouse the next device that we are going to see is the scanner we must have seen in many of the malls, in usually shops also, there is a barcode that is scanned, right? So what is the device that the person or the whoever person is standing over there is using? That is a scanner. And a scanner is scans something, right? A scanner is scans something. It is similar to that. It can scan any paper document, image, pictures, and etc. Okay, so it is also the input device. Next is our joystick. It is used to play games on the computer. We must have played the video games, right? We must start controlling left, right, move around this. So it is also similar to that only, which is called as joystick. And it is having different, different movements or different, different controls to control the games on the screen. So we can say it is also input device. Next is touch screen. The phone that we are using, it is also touch screen. Now we are also having touch screen laptops, right? And many things are getting touch screen. So touch screen is used to enter data by simply touching the screen, right? On our fingertips we are having and we can usually enter our data or do anything. So it is also input device. Next is microphone, the mic, okay? So a microphone is used to record voice, music and sounds and it can be stored on a computer. Next is web camera. We must have web camera in our school, in many of the buildings, in our house, right? In our shops. So a web camera is also used to take pictures in the digital form and store the photographs in our computer. And in short form, it is also known as webcam, which is usually a camera. 
Next is light pen, a pen which is used to point an object or draw something on the screen, right? Like in our smart board, it is not easy to draw with mouse at all uh, or in uh, every time. So we can use light pen. It is like or many, much, much, much similar to our pen. Okay, light pen is much similar to our pen, which is used to draw. We can write something. We can annotate anything, etc. Next, here with is processing device. And we know that our processing device is CPU, which is central processing unit. And it is the brain of the computer. And it basically works on the input. It processes it and it gives the final result, which is output. So a CPU is a chip which is placed inside the CPU box. And obviously it is the brain of computer. And further it is divided into three parts, ALU, CU, and MU. Let us see what are they. ALU stands for arithmetic and logic unit, which is basically used for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and many more. Like the name is also suggesting arithmetic. Arithmetic means related to some operations, mathematical operating, operations like addition, subtraction, and anything. Right, like in our calculator also do in our system also we can open calculator and we can perform any operation. So these operations are taken care by the arithmetic and logic unit. Next is the control unit. The CPU also has the memory like human beings and it can store information or any instruction that we give. So as the name is suggesting here with memory unit, MU, memory unit. So it will be basically dealing with the memory. Like which file should be allocated, how much space, how much space is left, how much space is occupied, and etc. So all the work related to the memory will be handled by memory unit. We are also having control unit. Control unit basically controls everything, right? Like the traffic police. Traffic police control all the traffic from here and there, left, right, stop, and everything. Likewise, the control unit will be going to control all the things that are happening in our, our computer. And it will be going to do it in a very good manner. After it, we are having output devices. Output devices, the result that we get after processing is called output. And the device which we are by which we are getting the result are called output device. Such as we can say monitor, printer, speaker, correct? Monitor with the help of it, we can see something. Printer, we can we have to give the plain paper and we'll be going to print the printed paper, show you the printed paper that is our output. So printed is also output device. The speaker, we are using a speaker to listen to the music, play sound, voice or something. Next is our headphones that we are using. And it was also basically used to listen the music sound without disturbing others. So it is also headphone, which is our output device. And we must not use headphone for the long time because it can also harm our ears. Next is plotter. A plotter is used to print big sketches, diagram and maps on the long sheets of paper. And these are usually used by engineers, architects, scientists, designers, etc. It is just like a printer, but printer is a small machine and the plotter is used to print the bigger image. Next is our projector. Projector projects or display data of computer screen or long or we can say large surface for an audience that we can usually use in our school in few of the functions and all. Projector, it will be basically used to focus the image in the bigger way. And it is also output device. Next is a smart board. A smart board is used in classroom as a teaching tool, which we can use for explaining something to display any information. Next is a storage device. Like we are storing this much of the thing, right? Like I am explaining input device, processing, output device, and all the things are getting stored in your mind. And likewise, whatever work that we are doing in our system, these are stored in the computer memory and it requires some storage, right? So we can say that any of the storage that is that we are using to store any data is called a storage device. And nowadays we are having many or much uh, storage device. There are many storage device to store our data or to work with that, right? So first of all, we are having CD or DVD. Both are similar, although they are not probably using because we are having nowadays PD, pen drive, right? So CD, Compact disc and DVD and DVD, digital versatile disc, right? Uh, we can use to store the data. Like in our birthday or in some of the wedding, we are getting our recorded videos in CD and DVD a long ago in early times. Next is PD, which is pen drive, which is a portable device and it is easy to use. And it has large capacity than the DVD. 
CD and DVD both are same, but there is only difference in the capacity. Next is hard disk, which is permanently fixed in our system. And it can also store maximum of our data. Next is double tap. It is used to enter data by simply touching the screen, which is touch screen. It displays the data of computer screen on the large screen. What it is? Projector. It is used to play games on a computer. Hmm? What it is? Joystick. Next, we are having computer softwares. Computer is an electronic device, we know, and it cannot work by itself, right? It needs some instructions. And we usually give instructions in the form of software, right? Because software is a collection of stepwise instruction so that it can manage all the things. We can also say that the software is like a manager between our computer hardware and humans, and it will be going to interact to the both. So the part of computer that we can not see and touch are called software. Hardware we have seen, hardware we have seen, we can see and touch, but software we cannot see and touch. Okay. For example, we have to play a movie, right, in our pen drive. So we can touch the pen drive, right? But we cannot touch the movie. So pen drive we have seen it is hardware. But what about movie? Movie, right? Movie is maybe in the form of any extension, right? Which is software. So this movie is the software and the pen drive is hardware. The same thing is written over. And basically two types of software are there, system software and application software. It's very, very easy to understand. Let us see. System software, software that control and manages all the activities of computer are called system software. System software will be going to manage all the activities, right? And it is like a manager who will be going to manage all the things. When we switch on a computer, the first thing that the system software does is preparing our computer to work, right? It load all the imported file and it runs the it runs many of the application software also. And that software that is being loaded in our memory, that in that is being loaded in our computer's memory when we shut on the computer, it is operating system. Okay, which is in short form, it is also known as OS. Okay. And the most popular we are already familiar with, that is Windows. So there are many versions of Windows like Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 9, 10, and latest is Windows 11. Next is application software. These softwares are designed to perform some specific jobs, right? For specific jobs, we will be using application software. So it will be having different, different tasks of different, different software. Like for example, we can take paint. In paint uh, software, we will be doing only painting, drawing or something. In touch paint, it is also similar to the paint only. In word, we will be typing something. We will be creating any document. Likewise, in the presentation, we will be creating some presentation, right? So every software is having its different, different role. Like we can also take the example about the games. Game software are also there, right? Many of the game software. So the purpose is different to play the games. So all these softwares are application softwares. Um, one more thing that is other operating system. Then Windows are Linux, Mac OS, Mac operating system. Now it's time to cover the exercise. Choose the correct answer. Which of the following is an input device? A scanner, printer, hard disk, headphone. So what it will be? It is asking about input device that takes some input, right? So what it will be? Scanner. Which of the following is an output device that will be going to give the output, right? So which is that that will be going to give the output? It will be plotter because it will be going to printing the large sheets. Which of the following is a processing device? Very easy, CPU. Which of the following is the storage device? A storage device, it means to store something. So we will be storing any of our video or something in the CD compact disc because mouse, microphone, speakers, they are not a storage device. Fill in the blanks. That is a part of computer that we can see and touch. So the part of the computer that we can see and touch is hardware, okay? It is used to perform particular task, only particular task it do, right? So just now we have studied that is application software. Next, it is a system software. We have just seen system software. It means it will be operating system. Next, it is used to perform arithmetic calculations, which is our ALU, port one. Let's move ahead with the question answers. What is a scanner? 
what is microphone, what is an IPO cycle, and what is the main difference between system and application software. We will be going to do it just after doing the scratch your brain. So here we have to just tell about the input and output device. Then we are having Naman wants to repair, Naman wants to record his song on the computer. So which device he can use to record, to record, it means microphone. Palak wants to play the game and we can play the game with the help of joystick. Sonu is working in the lab. His teacher asks him to tell the number of groups the hardware components are divided into. So in how many uh, components they are divided into? Four. Input, output, processing and storage. Now let's go towards the question answer. What is a scanner? Scanner is used to read paper document images or pictures and send them as input into the computer, right? We usually scan any document. What is a microphone? Microphone is used to record voice, music and sound that can be stored on a computer. Next, what is IPO cycle? A computer works on IPO cycle, input process and output. It receives the input from the user by input device. Process it by using the CPU because CPU is our processing device and gives back the output using output device like monitor or printer. Next, what is the difference between system software and application software? System software that control and manages all the activities of computer, which is called as system software like our Windows, Windows 9, Windows 10, Windows 11, Linux, right? Mac operating system. Application software, software that is used to design or to perform some specific jobs that is called as application software like ms word ms paint etc so till here we are doing because our chapter one is completed stay tuned for next video thank you